Scandinavian. Ivan Bob here, hi. There is a way to reach a level on NoFap that you didn't even know was possible. However, you will not get there for free. You have to be willing to pay the price and you are paying with time and effort. Yes, it's time to look into some daily habits that you should be doing in addition to NoFap if you want to reach that highest level. Now, notice I did not say that you have to do these habits. But if you want to get the most out of NoFap, you should be doing most of these habits at least in periods over the year. So, let's jump in and take a look. And I'm actually going to rank these in order of importance. But all of them are actually important. So, make sure you stay with me until the end here. The number one most important habit to do as you are walking on the NoFap journey is obviously going to be physical exercise. There are almost no words to describe how much better your brain can start working and how much better you can feel if you exercise most days of the week. You know, most of my subscribers are either trying to do NoFap want to do NoFap or are living a NoFap lifestyle. But I'm a bit surprised to learn that a big part of you are not doing any form of physical exercise at all. A couple of days ago I did a poll in the community section where I asked you guys how often you exercise. Out of almost 2000 votes, 23% said they do not do any exercise at all. And 26% said they exercise 2-3 to three times a week. Only 20% are logging in almost daily exercise, which is the option I would like you guys to do. Now, I am not pointing fingers here because I certainly have had periods in my life where I've been slacking with my own habits. Still do from time to time. But I just want you to know that if you belong in this category, you will get so much more out of your NoFap journey. Certainly two to three times a week is great, but some form of daily movement is so incredibly beneficial. And you don't have to be worried about overtraining because of that. Because just going for a 60 minute walk counts as exercise. And you can do that even if you are going hard in the gym, for example. Listen guys, most of you have already seen interesting benefits from doing NoFap. Even those who are not exercising see benefits. But you have to realize that most of your friends are not even doing no fap. So if you add daily exercise on top of doing no fap, you are already way ahead of maybe 90% of the population. I mean, just look at the poll. You are even ahead of 80% of the guys who are doing no fap. Alright, so the next habit is cleaning up your life. Which means cutting out or drastically reducing your consumption of alcohol, cigarettes, junk food, weed or anything else that you might be ingesting that you know isn't good for you. Now, one could argue that this one would be even more important than physical exercise. And yes, I would like to agree with that. But physical exercise itself is such a powerful keystone habit that causes a ripple effect making guys almost automatically start to clean up their diet, clean up their life and cut down on unhealthy stuff. I mean, imagine coming home from a five mile run. You feel great about yourself. You get the healthy endorphins as a well-deserved reward and you just reinforced your identity of being a healthy person. And as soon as you sit down after your run, are you then going to light up a cigarette? <laughs> no, most people don't want to do that then, or they stop doing things like that then. Now sure, I know some may do that, but just by its nature in general, physical exercise feeds other good habits. It's the same with myself. If I'm going hard in the gym, I want to build muscle and lose fat. I am automatically going to gravitate towards higher quality foods instead of throwing in <laughs> three donuts and some french fries after my workout session. The next habit is dopamine fasting. Now, how can I say this is more important than for example cold showers or meditation? 
Well, it's easy, really. Guys, it is just a fact that today's modern world is now set up in a way that the dopamine industrial complex wants you to be addicted to cheap dopamine. Social media and certainly the adult site industry is at the very top of this. Now that is not a conspiracy theory. It is just pure business because the more addicted you are, the more money they make out of you. And sadly, the more addicted you are, the less power you have over yourself and your life. And the worse you feel. But they don't care about that at all. So are you seriously going to let them rob you of your power and become like the average dopamine addicted fapper out there? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm certainly not. And I don't think you should either. I mean, we nofap guys are dopamine focused warriors and we are better than that. So if you can implement different kinds of dopamine fasting protocols throughout the year, you are literally taking back that power and you protect your dopamine system from getting hijacked again. And besides that, dopamine fasting goes so well with nofap. It is almost like they walk hand in hand. And if you're doing nofap and you also do all these three habits, well, now you are definitely rising up above 95% of people out there. And the next habit is going to be daily journaling. I don't care if you do it in the morning or in the evening, but daily journaling is more powerful than you could ever imagine. I'm going to make a whole video about journaling soon, so I'm not going to go into more detail about it here. Just, you just have to trust me on this. And the last habits are actually meditation and cold showers. Yes, I know, I know, they are two separate things. But since I said I'm going to rank order these, I just could not separate them in terms of rank. Because honestly, I cannot figure out which one of them I would put above the other. I cannot say cold showers are a lower ranking habit than meditation. But I can't say meditation is a lower ranking habit than cold showers either. Both of these habits habits are incredibly healthy for your dopamine system. And not only that, they both reduce stress and do a lot of other good things as well. So I guess it comes down to the individual here. Please let me know in the comment section below which one of these two you find the most valuable for you. Now, if you are not used to doing any of these habits other than NoFap, or maybe you just started your journey, you will probably not be able to introduce all of these habits overnight. Although I know it's possible for some people. But if that's the case, then, then why not try to add one new habit each month or so, or every second week, until you do them all, and then keep doing all of them for at least a month or so, and then see how you will start feeling. I mean, it's probably not realistic to wish that every Everyone would be doing all of these habits all of the time. Heck, even I don't do that. Almost no one does. But what I would wish for is that every one of you should at least try to get to a point where you do all of them at least in some periods over the year. Because I'm telling you guys, if you do that, you cannot believe what's in store for you. It's amazing how well you can start feeling and what you can achieve as well, just as long as you also have some other goals you are working on in life, besides NoFap and besides these habits, of course. And if you want to know a bit more about why dopamine fasting goes so well along with NoFap, then take a look at this video you can see on the screen right here here. And if you are struggling with NoFap itself and you keep on relapsing, then make sure to download my free 90 day no PMO guide using the link below. This is Scandinavian Bob signing out for today. Keep being amazing and keep being a dopamine focused warrior.